all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as to the world in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as to the what Idon Shale for the Obodo as Katakata. Uh, the day for Imo State, a bill I say, na fire, na in the bomb for the Obodo, what they call Imo State, too. As they don't, they accuse the governor, where we say he be the governor of Imo State, too. They say the man is yet to pay over 17, uh, over 7 million dollars for 150 vehicles supplied to Imo State government since 2021, valued now to 1.5 million innocent group <laughs> now innocent group now then they talk this one they say nani hope who is yet to pay the money uh what we say uh, uh for the car where innocent group supply to them hmm. uh, i hope this one not waiting to the call uh 4110 <laughs> Nigeria Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited, also known as IVM, is sounding the alarm over Governor Opus Odema of Imo State failure to pay up to or on a significant debt. The issue resolves around 150 vehicle IVM supply to the state government valued at $7 million at the time of delivery. However, due to fluctuation in exchange rates, if the payment is made today, the amount will be the amount will be equivalent to 1.5 million dollar. Colonel Osibe, head of corporate communication and affairs of Innocent Group, said on Tuesday. Uh, this one now, uh, or guy who uh, now they they accuse you. They said the man buy car, he no one pay you. <laughs> They said that I hope my car is no happy. Uh, I say uh, that's so that they do for here. I don't know, say government then say that they owe debt too. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, no fear. Uh, Nigeria, where would they serve? Uh, the federal government, they borrow money every day. Every day, na borrow, borrow. 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 On another information, Simon, I don't talk, say, don't open up, say, the government of the uh, Biafra Republic government in exile done they reach out to the United States of America concerning the Biafra referendum. Uh, according to Eba, he said that this is the first of its kind uh, that since the struggle of Biafra, that the information about the Biafran people has not reached the United States Congress. And according to Eba today, he said that... Um, he has reached out to U.S. Congress and he mentioned some few, name, few names, uh, notable people in America uh, that he was, he, he has spoken with and as it is, uh, if it is, if it were to be in school, they say, uh, Victor, a lot of continue, uh, but Victoria Asata. He also said that over 50 million Biafrans has already voted for the ongoing self-referendum. Uh, the argument of for living Nigeria is not just about identity, but survival, peace, unity, equity, and progress. And when they ask them, uh, say our brother, uh, why is it that um, the Igbos, the Biafrans, uh, want to uh, leave Nigeria? He said it's because of um, marginalization, how the Igbo has been marginalized for so much a long time. He even went back to time. Uh, when uh, uh, after the Biafra Nigeria Biafra Civil War, uh, where the Nigerian the uh, Ndibo's account was uh, confiscated and twenty pounds was given to every person, no matter how much you have in that account. And when people come, they ask some uh, people waiting to me through through for the U.S. government making the no say what in the talk not true. He said he, uh, he had met with the most senior members of U.S. government, including the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mike Johnson, the third highest official of the U.S. government, the Chairman of House of Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael M.C. Cole, and a plethora of members of Congress, 
He said that these members are now well educated about Biafra and we are closely working with them to form a new Biafra policy for the US government, which until now has not had one. <laughs> Uh, they said that they tried to form new policy for the uh, U.S. government to, uh, so that the U.S. government will be able to know about the matters that concerns the indigenous people of Biafra. And I will say to you, uh, what is your take on this? Uh, please go down to the comment section and comment. Uh, let me know your take. Let me know what you are thinking about. Uh, what are you thinking about the step? Uh, that the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile is taking. And when he was asked uh, about this uh, referendum de declaration date, uh, he responded by saying that 2nd of December is the date and everybody is anticipating to see what is going to happen that day. And I will tell you, uh, wherever you are, kindly uh, keep your uh, fingers crossed uh, because uh, I will be updating you, I will be updating you day to day uh, to know what is actually happening. As it be, uh, IPOB has raised alarm over IDP camps in Imo State. Remember that the governor of Imo State, uh, His Excellency, His Excellency Hope Uzodimma, uh, have agreed to bring down IDP center in Imo State around that Mbano. Uh, I think Mbano is under Okigwe local government. And um, the IPOB are saying, hmm, this is a plot of uh, Fulanese to grab Biafra land. As in the BO, the indigenous people of Biafra has vowed to stop what it calls the demonic intentional displaced persons. <laughs> Project located in Imo State, the group insisted that it would never allow the Nigerian government and its stooge in Imo State to import terrorists and bandits into Biafra land in the name of displaced person, pointing accusing finger at Imo State Governor Opus Odema and the federal government for being behind the project, IPOB described it as an elaborate and ominous plan by the Fulani and the government to dispossess the people of Biafra of their ancestral land and heritage, warning that it will not work. IPOB's media and public secretary, Comrade Ima Powerful, in a statement yesterday, questioned why the federal government and its cause never set up scale acquisition programs for the millions of jobless youth in Biafra yet have the mind to consider bringing in Boko Haram food soldiers into Biafra land under the guise of scale acquisition for international, in, for internal displaced persons. The statement reads, the attention of the Directorate of the State, DOS, of the indigenous people of Biafra has been drawn to the sinister federal, federal government project called International the Internally Displaced Persons Skill Acquisition Camp at Nzu Community, Ehime Mbama, local council, Ama for Community, Ohaji. Uh, these are the places. Uh, one is um, Ehime Mbama. Uh, local council and for community or Haji Eboma local council and Abala community in our not local council of Imo state. They have tried all forms of land grabbing techniques with the different names such as Roga and all these failed. Now they want to import so called displaced persons from northern Nigeria, a distance of thousands of kilometers away from their locally and homeland into Imo state in Biafra land. The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra wants to inform the Fulani and the Nigerian government together with their stooge hope Uzadima, that we are aware of the real intention. The systematic arrangement to bring in Fulani children into Alibo involving the United Nations is a covert project aimed at Ndibo. IPOB and Biafrans in general and Biafrans will not allow such wicked act of, inf of infiltration into to go on in Ali Bo. Uh, this one is coming from the members of the indigenous people of Biafra. They say, we no go green, oh, we no go green. Whatever they want to do, we no go green. Um, as that one they go, uh, the NIG army uh, have reported that uh, they dismiss IPOB anti-recruitment threat praises Southeast youth patriotism. 
The Nigerian army has condemned the indigenous people of Biafra for its fear mongering tactics aimed at discouraging youth from the southeast from participating in the ongoing recruitment exercise into the Nigerian army. According to the army, IPOB warns, IPOB warnings are unpatriotic and baseless, with the southeast remaining a stronghold of lawyer and professional military personnel excelling in their service to the nation. Major General Onye Mawachuku, the director of Army Public Relations, reaffirmed the unwavering patriotism of Southeast youth, stating that they continue to fill their quotas in military, paramilitary, and civil service troops. Despite IPOB's threat, he emphasized that the ongoing registration for the 88th regular recruit intake has witnessed strong turnout from the region. The statement also highlighted destructive activities of IPOB, including illegal citizen home orders, napping, and economic sabotage, while urging Southeast youth to ignore IPOB's propaganda and pursue their aspiration within the military, where merit is valued about tribal or religious affiliation. You don't shall uh, this one is coming live from the army. Uh, they say, hmm, uh, say within IPOB they talk, they say that one no follow. Meanwhile, I hear I go the one and the cotton. Thank you for listening. God bless you.